Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the Rangers career mode for the first time in my career on YouTube. We have moved over to Scotland, a nation that has been suggested to me so many freaking times, and now finally we have taken over a club over here in Scotland. And boys, we have taken them over halfway through the season, and it couldn't be at a better time. We are in December, we are right before the next transfer window in January and of course look at the league table Rangers is only two points behind Celtic so I'm looking forward to chase down Celtic for the league title they haven't lost a single game so far and that means boys we're gonna have a lot of fun chasing down Celtic if you are a Celtic fan I'm sorry guys that we're doing a Rangers career mode if you're a Rangers fan you are delighted about this one just like this one right here Joshua Young says just saying I'm a Rangers fan and honestly this is already my favorite career mode because honestly I almost lost it when you nearly signed Morelos this is actually amazing guys Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're enjoying the Coach to Glory and the second season that is beginning right now, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I am extremely excited and as you can tell, we have cut down on the beard and we look 10 years younger again. Yes. So before we go any further, let's take a look at what the team is expecting from us. Brand exposure is a apparently a priority, but doesn't say anything. Domestic success, they want us to win the titles. So Celtic has to be beaten boys we have to get past them and that is going to be a big task in this season and then we have to reach the semi-finals in the cup are we still within the cup i'm going to take a look if we're still in there uh, yeah we are still in there we're up against hibernian in the uh, away game in the scottish cup so we are still taking part in that we have four games no five games to go until we get into the january transfer window and boys i couldn't be more excited to say that we have ryan kent to play with now some people might be like why are you excited about this guy if you don't know on Ultimate Team, there is an 86 rated Ryan Kent that is the nightmare of every single person that plays Ultimate Team, okay? Everyone brings him off the bench and destroys you. You cannot stop that man and for that matter, I'm extremely excited to know that I now have the unstoppable Ryan Kent in my team and of course, we have Morelos, the man that divides opinions. He is the Diego Costa of Scotland right now. Celtic fans absolutely hate him, Rangers fans love him to bits. So I'm excited about having him as well. We tried to sign him in the Racing Club career mode, didn't manage to do so and now we are his coach anyway. 78 rated. We have Jones down the left hand side boys, 26 years old, 5 foot 9, really good pace but nothing else looks decent. He has 4 star skill moves and decent dribbling but um, yeah, physically 37 strength. He's going to get pushed off the ball very, very easily. We have Kamara in midfield who looks like an all round beast so I'm happy with that. We have our captain Arfield who's 32 years old but still shows a good all round statistic on him. And we have Jack who is 28 years old and is basically the same as Arfield field just a little bit better especially physically so that is a 91 stamina player that is going to be in that position we can put him into the cdm spot because he seems to be the better defender anyways and then we have barisic down the left who actually looks very good a um b-tech alexandro the way he's like uh, all around decent we have katic in the center back position over helander because helander has 47 pace and that's not going to work out so katic moves in into the starting lineup goldson plays alongside him and with that we have two actually good center backs and we don't have to worry about that position right back position is definitely something that we will have to change it is a 27 year old with 56 pace that is going to be the main position that we try and change immediately in the upcoming transfer window and then we have mcgregor in goal with the age of 38 yes that is how old he is and then a bunch of players on the bench that genuinely don't look too impressive so basically it's a a team where we have the ability to change it around just like we have done with Racing Club. Now, we do have some decent players in a starting lineup for once, so we don't have to change players like Morelos, Kent and Jack, for example. 
but the other ones definitely we have opportunities to change things around we do have a decent player on the bench right here in Aribo I actually would prefer to play him over our field I just don't know if you guys will be okay with that I don't know how close Rangers fans are to our field so I personally want to put Aribo in let me know in the comments what you think about that situation we have a decent left back in Friday on the bench and Haylander of course is someone that I want to let go if I can and then on the reserves boys there's literally nothing interesting uh, we have the former Liverpool talent uh flanagan right there and uh yeah that's pretty much it we have mccrory though Ooh, we do have mccrory i do know that this guy is an absolute beast so uh, i'm gonna definitely put him onto the bench over Doherty. there we go now one of the top comments of the last episode is coming in from arian malhotra and he says when you start the rangers career mode start a scouting agent very very true and with that boys we're gonna go all in i'm gonna spend three million on dave McCutcheon. That's a nice name. So he has five stars experience, four star judgment. We're going to get that man right now. We're going to sign him up and we're going to send him over, of course, to Scotland. Why not, dudes? We're going to keep him in Scotland and see what we can get. Nine months. Actually, we only have six months here. So six months of looking for talents. Hopefully, we can get something sick from this one and then we can carry them on into the next career mode as well. So please go ahead and help us out. And of course, the channel members, the tier three ones, they can actually then decide what their name is going to be and how they're going to look like so i'm looking forward to that huge shout out to the channel members once again you guys are amazing over 50 of you guys are showing support if you guys want to join in down below there is a button that says join you can join in and there's a discord that we talk to each other every single day so uh yeah that's just a little shout out to the people that show some love now one thing that many people are going to ask themselves is what about zaracho now here's the deal boys we only have 16 million in the budget and zaracho Zaracho is not going to be achievable for us at the moment. He only has six months left in his contract. So if we had more money, we could potentially go ahead and try and sign him. But sadly, we can't do that at the moment. We just don't have that money. And if I sell a bunch of players, yes, I could potentially go ahead and get Zaracho, but I wouldn't have money to spend on any other position. So for that reason, I think Zaracho is going to be a player that we are going to buy in the next season. So after this half year that we have at Rangers, we're going to move to a different club and that different club, hopefully, is going to have a big bunch of money and with that money we're going to get ourselves Zaracho because I definitely don't want to miss out on this guy we have had an amazing connection with him in the first season but right now we have joined a club that just doesn't have the financial abilities to pick him up so that's a bit of an issue but I'm going to keep him on my mind throughout the entire coach to glory and we definitely want to sign him as soon as possible saying that hey Manchester United fans, how do you feel about that win against Manchester City? Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are feeling about that. If you're a City fan, let me know what you think about that situation as I am going through the free agents because obviously there could be some incredible hidden gems in the free agents and we've already find one, found one. Luciano Renato Nogueira Jr. All right, my friends, you're being shortlisted. And anyone else? Anyone else want to become a beast for our coach to glory from years uh, to come this guy looks he looks okay Tobias Tobias that's a Portuguese name apparently uh, Tobias Daluz Horta uh, I don't know I don't know I mean he's 19 years old if he was 17 I would have signed him but I'm not too impressed to be honest dude I love how I genuinely look like I'm 10 years younger since yesterday's uh, since the last episode now Nogueira we're gonna go for as a rotation player I think he's gonna be happy with that and yes he is um, it's gonna be a five-year contract for this young man I don't know if I should be putting in a release clause um, I could potentially do that in case he's actually decent. I would expect him to be like a 64 rated something player. So I'm going to put a release clause of 5 mil um, because that's going to keep him kind of cheap and we'll be able to sign him. Oh, they want a 3.9 mil. Okay, that means he's actually kind of low rated. Let's go for 4.5. Let's agree on that, please. They still want 3.9. You know what? I'm going to go with 3.9 then. Um, R Luciano Renato Noguera Jr. is going to join our team right now, boys. Welcome to the team. First signing of the Rangers career mode after signing a scout. All right, there he is. He's 65 rated with 76 pace, 6 foot tall, 72 physical, 62 defending, low high work rates. This guy's perfect. Dude, this guy's really good. Okay, we, we might have found ourselves a player that we can carry through a bunch of teams, boys, because that Noguera Jr., we're going to keep him on our mind. And um, since he has such a low release clause, 
We can buy him in the next team for sure. So let's keep that one in mind, guys, as we move on into the future. And I think from this career mode, Ryan Kent might be someone that we carry through into different teams as well. So keep an eye on him. Now, first of all, obviously, I'm going to be looking for Scottish players to bring into the team. And sadly, there's not anyone that can play as a right back in terms of Scotland players. So... We're going to go for Brandon Williams, who can play left back and right back, the talent from Manchester United, who is showing an incredible amount of aggression every single game he plays. He seems to be one of those players that is from like the old school type, where he is just aggressive as hell. So uh, Brandon Williams, I am going to go for right now, because he will fit perfectly into that derby between us and Celtic. And for that reason, I think we are capable of spending a few millions on this young man to improve our right back position and the state of our defense for sure so brandon williams how much do we have to pay for you i'm gonna say i'm gonna say let's say about four mil probably let's put on a sell-on clause because i don't know four mil is that the right offer for brandon williams they want four mil plus seven percent sell-on clause we have just made a perfect offer straight away brandon williams welcome to the club if you signed a contract. I wonder if he has a real face. Please have a real face. Please have a real face. Come on, come on EA. Give him a real face. Does he look like he does in real life? I haven't seen his face yet. Uh, he's going to be an important first team player. I think he's going to be accepting that. I guess it's close enough. He doesn't have a real face, but it's okay. It's okay. We move on. We will get ourselves a young talent right here. And we are aware of the fact that he's worth 4 million. So we're going to put in a release clause of 10 mil. I'm going to put in a release clause of 10 mil. I think that's a good offer. I think he should accept that. And he does accept that. So if we move on to a different team and we need a left back or a right back, Brandon Williams is right there for us. So he wants 27k. That's a lot of money. But hey, we're going to accept that, boys. After five clean sheets, he's going to get himself a little bit of a bonus. But Brandon Williams is the first signing of Rangers in terms of a big player to come into the starting lineup from Manchester United. He moves over to Rangers to become an absolute legend at the club four star weak foot he is right footed so he's better suited than that right hand side in my opinion and he does have a few decent traits dives into tackles and speed dribbler um, for the AI simulation games that could be very helpful I am just excited over the fact that we have just brought him into the team he is going to join us at the beginning of the next transfer window which is just going to be in like a month so up until then we're going to see and wait with the transfer deals but for now I wanted to get one done for you guys to be excited about it and I think for that right back position instead of Polster boys we're going to go with McCrory who is 69 rated and he definitely can play in that right back position but I do feel like he's going to be a great all-rounder for the midfield to bring in as a substitute once Williams joins in. These are the players that I'm going to put into the training sessions boys Morelos, Kent, McCrory, Noguera Jr and Aribo those are the ones that we are going to try and improve throughout the season at least for now. Messi has won the player of the year award congratulations to him and our first game is going to be up against Ross Camp who are in the ninth position it's actually quite interesting to play in a league that only has 12 teams so uh, I'm quite interested in seeing how this whole system works let me know in the comments down below how the Scottish league system works guys since there are only 12 teams they have to play against each other multiple times right so uh, more than just twice let me know in the comments down below to get me updated but Ross County doesn't really look like a challenge to us they are only on 12 points I do see this game as a simulation away from home and then who is next big opponent that we have coming up we have Ross County, we have Livingston, Motherwell, and then St. Johnston. Any of these teams in the top six? No, not really. Seventh position, Motherwell. All right, that's the team that we're going to play, I guess. Here we go, first game. Come on, boys. Yes, that's what I expected. Jones. Okay, Jones gets two goals. Despite being the attacker with the lowest amount of um, shooting ability, he has been better than Kent and Morelos together, and Stewart, the 68-rated striker, came off the bench and scored. All right, not bad. I'll take it. First game, first win. Let's go. And then Morelos comes in asking for more playtime, even though um, we have just played you. I don't know what you're on about, Morelos, but hopefully we can fix that situation with him being unhappy by playing him every single game that we have coming up. Up against Livingston, 11th position. I want the first game that I play to be against a decent side. I want to test myself and see how good our team actually is. But for now, boys, Morelos gets a goal. Jones gets another goal off field with a, with a goal off the bench. 
Stoppage and Barisic, the fullback, actually gets one for himself. We do concede a lot of goals though. Our goalkeeper doesn't seem to be uh, defending properly, but Celtic is just running through the league the same way that we are. And that is definitely something that we have to be aware of. When we play against Celtic, boys, that's going to be the biggest game of the season because we definitely have to try and beat them. It's going to be a tough one. How many times does it say that we're going to be up against Celtic, though? Let me check here. So that's once in January. That's nice. And then that's it. Interesting. So that's it then. Huh. Now, we do have an injury, boys. Jones, the man that has scored the most goals for us, has now gotten injured for six weeks. And that is a bit of a shame. We're going to bring on... Do I go with Murphy? No, I go with Hasty right here because he does seem to be the um, faster player down the wings. The 4-3-2-1 isn't really a formation that I use often in career mode, but I am quite excited to try, to try it out. And now I think we do get the chance to do so up against not Motherwell. So here it is, boys. This is the game that we test ourselves. First time we ever play. And right now, Celtic is five points ahead of us. So Celtic definitely not losing any games at the moment. And it's going to be such a tough task to keep up with them and try and get those three points in every single match and at the end beat them as well we just have to hope for them to drop some points somewhere along the lines is there any shape of like a playoff system in here because it does say first stage that's interesting it does say first stage so explain it to me how does it work in the um scotland league i am actually quite a noob when it comes to this one yo rangers have some good looking kits you know that badge, by the, by the way, looks like as if it is like a Brazilian team or something. I love that red kit, but we're going to play with the away kit in the first game of ourselves. Of course, we're going to be on ultimate difficulty. Let's see how that works in Scotland. Boys, I'm actually excited about this first game, man. We're going to get to use Morelos, who seems to be a fan favorite. We get to use Ryan Kent, and uh, we do play against Motherwell right here. And it says undefined for everyone. Oh, God, EA. Have you actually... Oh, no, EA. EA. EA, come on guys, that can't be true. We actually have a new glitch in the game where everyone is undefined. Oh. Oh, that, that's good play straight away. Ooh, that should have been mine. Oh no, in the first minutes already, we have given away a penalty. Is that a foul for us? Yes, it's a foul. Oh, thank you. I thought that, I, I thought I made the foul, honestly. Hold on a sec. I do believe that I made the foul there. I don't think that should have been a free kick for me, right? Because do I get the ball before he gets it? No. He touches the ball, right? He's already touching it. I take him down and we get a free kick. All right. Seems like the referees are Rangers fans. That's great. Oh, no. We have opened up big time in the middle, but we do get it back here. My defenders are moving like trucks. I don't like that. They might have pace, but they don't move nice. McCrory, though, defending nicely. And finally, we get a touch onto the ball. And we might have the chance to move forward. What is that? I did not want to play that, but it's okay. They are really close with their marking. That's for sure. Dude, Motherwell is actually insane. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Would you look at that passing play? I am struggling, guys. I am genuinely struggling. No chance so far for our team. I didn't even touch the ball from outside of our half. So it'd be great to actually get this ball over the line. Great, let's go. Let's go. We got it over the line, boys. Congratulations. Oh, guys, very important. I need fan objectives. Comments down below, fan objectives. We need three as we only have half a season to go. Let me know in the comments down below. Hashtag fan objectives. We have completed all three in the last season. So make sure that these ones are going to be tough but still achievable. Don't make it unrealistic, please. Give me some nice ones to chase down. Maybe something based around Morelos and Kent because they are going to be obviously some of the most important players in this one for sure. Let's go. There's now... Kent. Oh, there he goes. Morelos. 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 Morelos scores the first goal for the Rangers career mode. I knew he would be big. I knew he would be the striker for us to get the goals. Ryan Kent gets the assist. The perfect partnership straight away works out early on in the Scottish Premiership. Beautiful play by Ryan Kent, creating space for the striker to run into. And it's a great strike that hits the top of the net for Morelos. He's not even looking at the target. He's just focused in on the ball and his finish because he knows where the goal stands. That's a beautiful strike. 1-0 up after actually struggling big time in defense. 
Oh, good turn. That was a great turn. Hold up. We're going to concede here. We have conceded. 35th. That was a great play from Motherwell. They come back into this, trying to take down one of the giants in Scotland. Very, very unfortunate for us to defend that badly. That one turn got me. I could not stop it from that point on. The man with the turn actually kept his running going to go ahead and score the goal as well. Beautiful strike getting past our goalkeeper who can't even react fast enough. Chris Long with the goal. 1-1. Morelos will have to do a little bit more for us to get the three points here. Let's go Aribo. Aribo has been decent by the way. If you guys are wondering who I like so far. Morelos, Aribo and Kent are the ones that I like the most. Camara, Morelos in the middle, waiting for that ball, Morelos, expecting a run from Ryan Kent. Not really seen any decent runs here, unless we get it to Kent. That's a pen! That's a pen! Let's go! That was so unnecessary! What is he doing? He shouldn't have done that! That is so stupid from him! We're gonna take that, and of course, we're gonna take it with Morelos, boys. Ryan Kent or Morelos, who has the better penalty shot? Kent doesn't have it. Morelos only 62 pens. But we're going to try our best here in putting it into the bottom right corner. That wasn't even bottom right. But who cares? That's the 42nd minute. And it's the second goal. Yes. Second. <laughs> Not third. Second. <laughs> if you guys remember the fail from the racing club uh, career mode. But boys, we are up once again. Rangers is struggling. I am struggling in my first game. But thankfully, our opponents have gifted us a penalty in a position where they shouldn't have done that. But Ryan Kent seems to be too fast for them to handle. So I'll take it. Oh, wow. Dude, the, the, their sprints from nothing are actually incredible. Oof, there we go. Good defending in the end. Ryan Kent. We're now down to added time. Kent is running through. He doesn't seem to have the stamina to deal with these lads. So he's going to cut back in. I'm going to go for Aribo. Morelos. Can he get behind? Morelos. Ooh, good attempt. Good attempt. But Ryan Kent has stamina issues. I don't like that. I do not like that. Yeah, he has 70 stamina. That's a bit of an issue, boys. We'll have to try and figure out a way to get him up. Maybe I need to go ahead and uh, put him onto training sessions that actually improve his stamina for sure. Is that run going to work out for us? There we go. Perfect timing. Come on now. Hasty. Ah, uh, he's too low rated. I would much rather have Jones there who probably would have gotten past the defender. But the injury is taking him away from us. No. Oh my god, goalkeeper, goalkeeper, my man is 30, 38 years old and he has the reflexes of a 90 year old, that is awful, that is really bad, our goalkeeper might have to go you know, because that, that is unacceptable, I know it's at near post but come on man, if you get a hand to it that means you could have gotten it away, Chris Long scores the second goal for himself, Morelos against Long is the battle of this match so far, 62nd minute boys and you can already tell who is going to be able to play a full game and who isn't. Kent is going to come off for Murphy, who is a right footer with a four-star weak foot. Not the most amount of pace, 74 pace only. And then we don't we don't really have many players on the bench that can have an impact on our game. I guess I'm going to go with Friedek as a left back. And then Stewart as a left forward? Nah. Arfield, captain, my captain, comes into the game as a right midfielder now. Right centre mid. Jack, good tackle. Let's move, come on. Come on, boys. They seem to be tired as well. Bring it in. Move it. New sub into our field. Another new sub. I see a run in the middle. Beautiful. Come on, make that run, son. Come on, do the fake shot, bro. And the other guy just runs past the ball. Come on, you can't be doing that, Kamara. You need to get to that. Our field into middle. Kamara. Down the right, we have a run. We have a run from number 32 as well. Morelos now gets it. Can he get past people? Oh my god, that's such a slow step over. But we'll take it for now. We'll bring it back into the middle. There we go. There we go. Great turn. Good passing play. Here we go. Far side. Morelos. Oh my god. That's an awful, awful cross. What is he thinking about? Let's go. Bring it forward. Beautiful. Let's go. Make that run, Camara. That's an awful pass for Morelos. Let's bring it back in. 19th minute. We're going for it, boys. We're going for it. Play it back. Morelos. Awful pass. We'll take it. Camara, Morelos, go on, get a touch on it. That's it. That has to be it. 2-2 in the first game. 
of the Rangers career mode guys we tried our absolute best but Motherwell was actually quite impressive I did not think that they could be this good but they have been very very good in this game they do deserve that 2-2 draw and uh, yeah one thing we can take away from this game is Ryan Kent and Morelos the partnership between the two is actually great uh, McCrory at right back isn't actually too bad but I would love to have him as a substitute for the midfield and if we look at the ratings of the players I would have to say that I really enjoyed Aribo. He was really a good presence in that midfield. Um, Jack Arfield and the other lads haven't really been too impressive. Um, Jack, in a, uh, for example, has been mispositioned quite a lot of times. Hasty, not good enough. We definitely need Jones to come back from his injury. But I guess Ryan Kent has done a good job by getting one assist and, of course, getting that foul for the penalty. Morelos at least showing what he can do in games for us, but he does need support from the other players. McCrory going up to a 70 rating right now. That's decent to see. But again, um, we do need the new signings to come in. So we're going to go through this month right now. We're going to have the last game of the month on the 29th. And finally, we're actually playing at home. Celtic obviously has won their game. So they are happy to see us fail. But if there's like a playoff type thing at the end for the title, that actually means that we, we have a good chance of trying to get that title anyways. So I'm actually really happy with that if that is the case. And you know what? I might actually go ahead and Google that right now. Let's see. Okay, so here it is. Once every team has played each other three times, the league splits into two halves for another five games. This means that the top six play teams play each other once and the bottom six teams play each other once. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so the season does not end in April with the last game. So that's good. Why is Ryan Kent being upset though? Dude, I've been playing you every single game. What's happening here? Here it is though, the transfer window has opened up and have we gotten our signing, yes or no? Let's see. Oh, McCrory. Hold up. So McCrory went up to a 70 in the last month due to the training sessions and immediately went up to a 71. He might force his way into the starting lineup, you know, because he does seem much better than someone like a Jack, I guess. In terms of FIFA, he is probably the better player, but where's that right back? There we go, Williams is here and he's 73 rated i will take that mccrory is going to be an amazing substitute for the bench we definitely needed someone of his caliber to be able to come into games jones has gone up to a 74 rating kent up to a 76 morelos up to a 79 hasty up to a 70 a lot of growth in the team after we have joined them cottage i believe was 73 went up to a 74 so overall some good progress on the team of course mcgregor is going to be a little bit of an issue we might might have to take him off and bring on Fodderingham who is 29 years old so let's put him in there McGregor has gone down and Fodderingham is taking over his position with immediate effect now one player that literally everyone will be suggesting is Billy Gilmore now here's the deal boys I respect this guy and his talent to unbelievable levels the game that he played against Liverpool he was incredible. He was bullying Fabinho. He even panad him. He was destroying Minamino on set pieces, pushing him, shoving him, just dominating him at such a young age. Billy Gilmore was so impressive. Now, I don't know if it's actually worth it to go after this man at this stage of our career mode. Is he going to be good enough for Rangers? Even though he might not be good enough, though, I think I'm going to go after it because he's an exciting prospect. And if we can sign him for only three mil, boys, we're going to do that, okay? He has a release clause of 3.2 mil. We're going to sign Billy Gilmore. We're going to get him over to Rangers. And we're going to make sure that we add in a decent release clause for us to actually go ahead and uh, get him into our next teams as well because that could be a very, very good player for us, especially in terms of like making money off of a player. Gilmore could be a good chance for us to do so in the future. I'm going to offer an 8.5 million release clause for Gilmore. Sadly, he doesn't look anywhere near how he looks on his picture, but 10k in his wages. That's insulting. That's it. That's insulting. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. <laughs> 10k. He's 19 years old. Oh, well, we're going to have to go for him again. 
later on and sign him up. Alright guys, after a long time of looking for players on the market, we have found Kamil Jozviak as someone that would fit in into the project of Rangers. A player that can play on both wings and that is just perfect as a substitute or even as a player that goes straight into the starting lineup over Jones who is currently injured. So Jozviak, let's try and get you into the team. We will be paying 5 million release costs for this young man and hopefully this deal will be working out um yeah compared to the other one that we just failed miserably 25k 10 million release clause and he wants 27k wow okay so seems like we have a good player on our hands right here in Jozwiak boys and the Polish lad is gonna join our team with that he's gonna take over his position at a left forward position straight away and I'm hoping that he actually turns out to be a beast so hasty um, you're going to come off, my friend. You're going to become a decent substitute. And Jozwiak comes in at a 72 rating. So he's going to be a backup to Jones. Because obviously Jones is higher rated. But Jozwiak does have a few things that I do prefer over the other man. This guy has really good pace, of course. The same as the other one. He has good stamina, though. Let's compare him straight away to Jones. So you can see there's a lot of green stuff on the on the side of Jozwiak. He does beat um, Jones on a lot of things. Which obviously is great. Um, then we go onto the skill uh, things though the skill ratings both of them have the same amount of finishing uh, jones is the better uh, dribbler overall so we're gonna have jones in a starting lineup and we're gonna have yozviak uh, on the bench for a substitute for kent or for for uh, jones as well so that is the decision that i've just made and i think it's a good one i think it's going to be a good player to have in a team until jones comes back and then he's going to be a great player on the bench with that being said though, first scout update in this career mode, coach to glory, we need someone good, come on, 57, 77, come on, please, Scotland, don't disappoint like this, the first scout report is abysmal, great, these guys are genuinely never gonna reach first team football and that is such a shame, I thought we had something decent in our hands in the first month, but sadly, that hasn't been the case boys unlucky very very unlucky this time gilmore actually asks for the wages himself i offered 10k last time he's asking for 17k he could have asked for this the last time when i offered 10k but gilmore boys for this time around we are actually signing him up the chelsea beast the talent that everyone talks about the scottish lad is joining our team right now gilmore welcome to Rangers and welcome to the team that is hopefully going to be beating Celtic at the end of the day we are very happy with that signing and he will go straight under the bench to replace the likes of I guess Stewart because Stewart doesn't look like he's of use anyways so Gilmore coming in at a 69 rating that's not bad you know I'll take that. And I do prefer Hasty over Murphy on the bench. So we're going to do that as well. But Gilmore coming in at a 69 rating, boys. 5'7", 3 star, 3 star, 19 years old, 63 pace. Obviously not that great. But he does have good acceleration. He has great vision for his age. Um, 75 balance. Stamina isn't the greatest. Strength doesn't look too good either. Ball control and dribbling is great. Long passing is really good. Short passing is really good. So he definitely is a midfield maestro type of guy. Guy, not really someone that is going to run forward and score many goals. It's going to be someone that's going to control that midfield with good passes, shifting the ball from the left to the right and helping out the team and building our attacks. So he has a playmaker trait as well. So this guy can be very good for us in the future. He's going to be the understudy to the likes of Mick Rory at this stage. With that being said though, guys, that is going to be the, the first episode of the Rangers Coach the Glory career mode. I'm very happy with it. Yes, we have seen that we do strive struggle against some of the sides out there motherwell have done really well against us in uh, getting those points off of ourselves but rangers is going to continue chasing down celtic and once we play against them it's going to be a mass massive derby and i definitely want to be the team that gives them their first loss that would be outstanding we have made some decent signings morelos has shown what he can do ryan kent has shown what he can do 
for like 50 minutes and then he has to get subbed off. We have brought in a couple of decent uh, players into the team. Williams, obviously, the new signing in that right back position. The Manchester United player has joined in. Then we have brought in the Chelsea midfielder, Gilmore. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited about the future, boys. Hopefully we can chase down that title and beat Celtic because I couldn't take two seasons with failures. That would not be too nice. We failed with Racing Club at the end of the final. I don't want to fail with Rangers. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next episode, hopefully. Fan objectives down below. And thank you once again to the channel members. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.